western cities, and so is the West's traditional culture. Modernization transforms all the different old cultures into variants of the same new culture. And the time of transition is usually pretty horrible. Just over a hundred years ago, the London of Charles Dickens looked a lot like this. The developed countries destroyed several generations of their own people on their way to the consumer society. The Industrial Revolution was the most violent time in the West's violent history, full of wars and revolutions. Now three billion more people are taking the same road. And it's not likely to be any easier this time round. I don't think there's any way of predicting where things will go because you could on the one hand either have collapses so severe that before the devastation is total, financial non-workability will break things down or your terrorism takes over so much that your economic system's capacity to predict the environment is blocked for reasons other than a political will. Uh, there's so many factors that could change direction. We are living through the biggest change since human beings settled down in villages 10,000 years ago. For the next few decades, up to half the people on the planet will be uprooted former villagers scrambling to survive in some big city. days selling, the Lever Brothers Circus is leaving Ashagad, and it may never have to come back. Two enterprising villagers have bought satellite dishes, and they're gradually cabling the whole village up. But since many people in Ashagad don't have television yet, the marketers have one more trick up their sleeves. Whether they stay in the village or move to the city, these kids will be part of a worldwide consumer society. They'll spend their lives learning to fit into an evolving global culture. It's going to be tough on them. And on us, we all have to grow up fast. The old village cultures are dying, and the style of behavior that used to serve us reasonably well in western cities doesn't fit the new situation either. The experiment of civilization has been a runaway success, but we now risk undermining our whole position as a species. Human beings are not an all-powerful life form that's going to destroy the planet, you know. We shouldn't give ourselves airs. We're simply another highly successful species that's approaching the point where the usual environmental controls kick in. And the usual environmental controls, I'm afraid, are quite harsh. Mass die-offs are commonplace and extinctions are not unknown. What we need now is a new kind of human being who's adapted to living in a global culture many billions strong. A global villager who can treat all the planet's people as neighbors. 
That's a tall order, but we human beings evolved by changing our culture. We can change the way we think and behave in mere decades, which is just as well, because if we don't move fast, we will be very sorry that we ever invented civilization.